was disappointing because I still thought I was alright. I was getting told all these different stories. And I wasn't never once told the truth. Never once told what was going on. And I don't think that's fair. Um, I'm in, in this sport oh, as a competitor and an athlete just like anyone else. And this is our career. <laughs> this is our job. This is what we train for. And to run the race, do this victory lap, everything okay, and then and then be told, oh no, you can't have your medal now. It's horrible. But I have to deal with it because that's just it's the way sport is, eh? That is the way it is. She won it legally. Just because of it. her around so much when she got it. Then she did it, then she did. Oh my goodness. Look, I've just found out what the final verdict is, and my heart absolutely goes out for Sally. And it's been an interesting night, like at 8.15 tonight, when Sally won the 100 metres. And I have to tell you, she is by far the best athlete in that race. And when she won that gold, did the lap of honour. We were all cheering for her. Sorry, and now I can so. only imagine that she is absolutely. Well, she won it. Just because of a false start. The other girl did first, and then she just reacted to it. First and foremost, there's this new rule mm. that has been brought in um, with the IAAF this year. Stupid. If you do a false start, then you are automatically disqualified. So we're lining up for the final. After the years of training, um, one false start. They treat like machines. And then all of a sudden, Sally runs out and then puts her hands on her head and thinks that she's false started. But in actual fact, um, a few lanes across from her, I think was in lane three, uh, Laura Turner from England actually also full started. And when it comes down to reaction time, it can get a bit complicated for your viewers at home, but you need in your reaction time not to be any faster than 0.1 second. And both Laura and Sally registered under that 0.1. Uh, one second, but in actual fact, it showed that Laura Turner was the first that left the blocks rather than Sally. But yeah. in the rule book, I think it does stipulate, and it's it is very complicated. But that if you do go under that time, that um, both athletes are disqualified. And here we're in this horrible situation where we've mm. got a, you know a Commonwealth Games gold medalist who has just been stripped of it within within a few hours. Our Olympic legend Cathy Freeman was also a guest on Good Morning Delhi this morning. That is bullshit, man. <coughs> How screwed is that, people? Heartbreaking. I mean, she wins the race properly in the second lap. I mean, one strike, you're out rule in the Olympics. If you if, if you leave too soon, after all that training and determination and effort and time. It's fucking cruel, eh? Why are you guys doing this shit? Just so a whole lot of people around the world can clap their fucking hands? Stuffing hamburgers or hot dogs into their face while your commentators make their buck from you along with all your promoters and sponsors and trainers and... And for what? So you can be treated like a machine? I reckon you're a winner, babe. We all saw you win. The second time. One strike, you're out. Bullshit. Seriously. What have we become? Black and white machines? Strict protocol? You've lost the point. You've lost the spirit. Fuckheads.